Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are, we are in chapter 5 which is hydrocarbon focusing on the subtopic of 5.1 alkanes part 2 of this video. So in this video, we're going to draw the structure and name the compound according to the IUPAC nomenclature for the cyclic alkene which consists from C3 until C6 part 2 of this video. For number 1 and number 3, we have looked about it in part 1 of the video which is in the previous video. Okay. So, without any further ado, let us start. So, cycloalkene are basically alkene which carbon atoms are joined in rings. So, cycloalkene have a saturated hydrocarbon because it, only, it consists of only single bond, which is attaching with the hydrogen. So, the general formula of cycloalkene is going to be CNH2N, where it will be started up with N equal to 3. So, the minimum size is going to be C3, H6, which refers to the first member of the cycloalkene, which is cyclopropane. Okay, so here is the cyclopropane, which is C3H46. Okay, so it can be drawn as the condensed structure or as the skeleton structure. So, cycloalkene with only one ring are named by attaching the prefix cyclo to the name of the alkene possessing the same number of carbon atoms. Meaning that if the cycloalkane, cycloalkane have three carbon, one, two, and three, the name going to be the same as in alkane, which is propane. You just end up cyclo in the middle because it is in the cyclic form. So three carbon going to be propane, but because it is in cyclic, going to be cyclopropane. If butane, they're going to have 4 carbon and then because it is in cyclic form, it's known as cyclobutane. A5, it's going to be pentane but because it is in cyclic, it's going to be cyclopentane. Alright, now for the nomenclature of cycloalkane, if only one substituent ataupun sesuatu rangkaian hanya ada satu sahaja, it is not necessary to design it its position. For example, if we have a cyclobutane here, and then it is attaching with the methyl group CH3. So you can name it as methyl cyclobutane. You don't have to one you you don't have to write as number one here because one methyl cyclobutane you can just ignore the number one and just write it as methyl cyclobutane. Same goes to this situation where we have cyclopentane which is with five carbon and then you attach it with bromine. Okay so the Substituent atau perangkaian tadi namanya adalah bromo dan cyclopentane as the parent chain. So it's gonna be bromo cyclopentane. You don't have to write one bromo cyclopentane. It is not necessary. Okay. However, when two substituent are present, numbering of carbon in the ring begins with the substituent. So if only have two substituent, we need to do the numbering, and we need to do the numbering with the alphabetical order okay a b c d e until z okay so the one with the smaller alphabetical order for example e will take the number one compared to the one that start with m methyl will take number two all right and we need to give the lowest number to the smaller alphabetical order Okay, let's look into the example. Okay, the last one here also means that it is isopropyl cyclohexane up here. Now, talking back to this one, let's say if we have two methyl group, which is CH2CH3 and CH3 here, this group, this, this substituent is named as ethyl because it has two carbon, and this substituent is named as methyl. And in this case, we're going to name ethyl as number one, and methyl is number two okay this is because ethyl come first before m a b c d e so e come first then only m so ethyl will take number one methyl will take number two hence you can do the naming as cyclopentane because of five carbon and then two methyl and one ethyl so it's going to be one ethyl two methyl cyclopentane all right, now for the other example here, we have cyclohexane attaching with ethyl 
and we have another substituent attached with chlorine okay so this one is named as chloro so chloro start with c letter c ethyl start with e so c come first before e so chloro will take number one Meanwhile, ethyl will take number 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so cyclohexane, 1 chloro because it's number 1, and 3 ethyl here. So it's going to be 1 chloro, 3 ethyl cyclohexane. Remember, in order to separate numbers and wording, we put a dash. Okay, now for the same one which is nomenclature which is the naming now we have three or more substituent just now we have looked at one substituent and also two substituent satu rangkaian dengan, dengan, dengan dua rangkaian dalam cycloalkane sekarang we have three substituent alright so in order to do this we have to find the lowest set of locants okay what is mean by this is the summation of lowest number okay so let's look into the example now we have cyclohexane because it we have one two three four five six and it is attached with three substituent we have chloro ethyl and methyl okay so we know that methyl gonna be the last because it is the because we have to follow the alphabetical order and then ethyl will come second and chloro will come first because C, E, and M. Now we have to decide on the numbers. Okay. So you know that uh, by initial thought, you will say that chloro will take number one. Here number two, ethyl will take number three, methyl will take number four. Or you can put as number one here, two here, three here, and four here. Okay. So by initial thought, you will take that you will think that one gonna be chloro because it's C, right? However, when it has three or more substituent, you have to look at the locants. Okay, so looking at the blue color chloro, it has number one. Ethyl, which is the blue color, it has three. Okay, methyl, it will carry number four. Methyl will carry number four. So, 1 plus 3 plus 4, campuran kesemua-semuanya mendapat 8. However, when you number the uh, the cycloalkane starting from methyl, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, for example, methyl, uh, chloro here, number uh, for the red color will have number 4, ethyl will take number 2, and methyl will take number 1 according to red, it will give a total number of 7. Hence, we will select the red color because the total set of locken is smaller. Okay, so it is important when the cycloalkane has 3 or more substituent, we have to find the total number of locens. Okay, you can just, you cannot say that chloro C, you take number 1. For two substituent, you can do that, but for three substituent, you cannot do that. Alright, so you have to follow the locants. So for this case, the chloro will take number four, ethyl will take number two, and methyl will take number one. Alright, now uh, when a single ring is attached to a single chain, okay, with a greater number of carbon atoms number one here the name gonna be cycloalkyl alkene okay so this is situation number one or when more when more than one ring is attached to a single chain then you can name it as cycloalkene as well cycloalkyl alkene so this one is situation number two so situation number one is the first um, bracket here the situation number two is another bracket here. So let's look into the situation. So by looking into the example, so as what you can see here, a single chain, satu rangkaian lurus, uh, yang satu, with a greater number of carbon atom. 
Maksudnya di sini, because the carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have 5 carbon here. However, our cycloalkene here got only 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in this case, the 5 carbon, which is much much greater, which is greater than the cycloalkene here, the carbon, the alkene here going to be the parent chain. So, it's going to be pentane and it is the substituent going to be the cycloalkene, which is 1 cyclobutyl. So, the naming is going to be 1 cyclobutyl pentane. Because this one is longer, so it's going to be the alkene name and the substituent going to be the cycloalkene. Alright, just now, you seen about the cyclohexane, but the substituent is CH3. So this one is 6 carbon and this one is 1 carbon. So the name going to be cyclohexane as the parent name. And methyl going to be the substituent. In this case, it's going to be the reverse way. The alkene going to be the parent name because it is longer than the cycloalkene. Alright? Or, when, the, when one more than one ring is attached to the single chain. Okay, let's say if we have a chain here, which is 1, 2, 3, which is a propane, but now it attached to, with two cycloalkene ring. So, the name going to be propane and it's going to be 1,3-dicyclohexylpropane because the cyclohexane here is going to be the substituent. Alright? Now, let's us look into the exercises on the naming of the compound. So, in this case, we have A. So, for A, this carbon here will be longer than, than the substituent because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it's going to be a pentane as the parent name. The substituent, because it only contains 3 carbon, so it's going to be our substituent. Okay? So, it's going to be 2 cyclopropyl pentane. Alright? Now, for this case, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 going to be cyclohexane. Okay? Cyclohexane. And then, number 1 here is attaching with ether, ethyl, sorry, ethyl, and this one is here is also ethyl. And then we have two of them, so it's going to be 1,1,1-diethyl-4. This one here is isopropyl. And then the parent chain is going to be cyclohexane. Okay, you cannot write it as 1, 2, 3, and 4. You cannot follow the red color one because when there are three Substituent that attaching, you have to count for the locants. Okay, so for the red color one, four, you have okay, you have four, four because you have four substituent, a uh, three substituent, but then carry number four and number four, and then you have one here, so it's gonna be four, four, one. So if you use the red color way, it's gonna give you total locant of nine. However, if you follow the blue color way, you will get 1, 1 because 2 substituent is attached at number 1. So, it's going to be 1 and 1 plus 4. So, the total is going to be 6. So, you, you should follow the lowest number of locants, which is number 6 here. So, that is why you do the naming as 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Now, we will do another example which is C here. So, for C, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, here is named as octane. 
okay because it is a aliphatic and then number three here is attached with methyl okay three methyl and here number four here is cyclopropyl okay but now we will write for cyclopropyl first because it is follow the alphabetical order and then three methyl so it's gonna be for cyclopropyl 3 methyl octane. For this last example, uh, we have two cyclohexane, yes, two cycloalkane attached together. So we're gonna have this one gonna be the larger one, the more number of carbon. So it's gonna be the parent name. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. So cyclohexane. And then, because it is attaching with only one substituent, we don't have to write number one in the front. We can ignore that. And our substituent here is going to be cyclopentyl. Okay, so we're going to name as cyclopentyl cyclohexane. Alright, so I think that's all for this video. See you again some other time. Bye!